should I use a HELOC to pay off my debt? I get that question a ton right now in this market. So a HELOC is a home equity line of credit. And in reality, most folks refinance their properties in the last two years at a historic interest rate. Most folks are sitting on a fixed mortgage rate in the high twos to low threes, depending upon if it was their primary residence or investment property. So why would I want to give up that interest rate for a rate right now as we film in the fall of 22, that's high fives to 7%? You wouldn't, no. We gotta look at the total picture of your finances and see what's the interest across all of your debt, right? So if you've got a fixed rate mortgage in the twos or threes, you're gonna leave that alone. A home equity line of credit or HELOC, um, depending upon the day, is gonna be somewhere in the mid fives to high sevens, depending upon credit score, equity position, loan to value, type of property, amount, and a few other things are gonna impact the interest rate and the terms you get. Well, let's look at it, right? We're gonna, we're gonna pay off some other debts. Credit cards, start there. Credit Credit cards typically are double digit interest rates, usually in the high teens to into the 20s. In a perfect world, you're able to pay off your credit card balance every month, but life happens, different things. Maybe you've used it, maybe, you know, for a multitude of reasons, you got credit card debt, okay? And those interest rates are, again, high teens in the 20s, and they're not tax deductible. And you're just not able to catch up on those payments and wipe out those balances. Auto loans, right? Auto loans used to be 0.1%. Now I'm seeing people with great credit get auto loans in the fours to, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten double digits on auto loans, depending upon the type of automobile that you're buying, credit score, all those options that go into it. What else? Maybe you've got an installment loan or a signature loan. Maybe you've got a loan for a motorhome or a boat or an RV or a toy. Some of those installment loans can also be high single digits to double digits into the teens. All of those, those debts, those interest rates, they're not tax deductible. Whereas mortgage interest is tax deductible to a certain level. Now you wanna look at what is it costing me in interest across all of those debts? What am I minimum monthly payments? What does it cost for me to carry that debt every month? And should I use a home equity line of credit? Should I use a HELOC at five, six, seven percent Consolidate all of it, eliminate all the debt, therefore bringing your credit score up and really bring in your monthly payments down and increasing your cash flow. It is a fantastic strategy. Now, disclaimer, your home, your equity is not an ATM machine. I see too many people that treat it as such. We have had unprecedented gains in equity in the last couple of years in this country. Don't abuse it. Use that to get ahead on your financial stability for your, for your family, your wealth, and the next generation. Don't live ahead of your means and then use equity to keep getting you out of debt, okay? So use the HELOC strategy once. If you keep using the HELOC strategy, it's defeating its purpose. You're not really getting ahead. But the home equity line of credit, the HELOC strategy is a great tool to pay off the high interest consumer debts that you have. Take advantage of the tax deductions, get yourself back on solid financial ground, and then proceed. If you have questions about any of this, you have questions about your budget, which we should all have a budget. I know it's not a sexy topic and you're like, oh, budget, uh, accountability or my money. You want that to be dialed in. You want to live below your means. You want to know what it costs to be you and your family and loved ones and the people you support financially every single month. And don't overextend yourself. You don't need a flashy car, flashy car, all this stuff. Be you and be proud of you, right? If you have any questions about HELOCs, let me know. We actually have a fantastic HELOC product. You can simply go to s1lheloc.com. It's crypto backed. It funds in five to seven business days. Real easy, paperless application. But ask me your specific questions because I want to make sure that you're educated and informed so you can make a confident decision for you and your family.